realm of fancy, Jay Keats. The speaker adores the ability to let loose the muse. The humdrum of everyday life can be banished by all the entertainment the imagination can provide. Notes from the back of the book. Ceres' daughter, Procerus Piney, God of Torment, Pluto. The Realm of Fancy Ever let the fancy roam, pleasure never is at home. At a touch sweet pleasure melteth, like two bubbles when rain pelteth. Then let winged fancy wander through the thought, still spread beyond her. Open wide the mind's cage door, she'll dart forth and cloudward soar. O oh, sweet fancy, let her loose, summer's joys are spoiled by use. And the enjoying of the spring fades as does its blossoming. Autumn's red-lipped fruitage too, blushing through the mist and dew. Coys with tasting, what do then? Sit thee by the ingle when the sere faggot blazes bright, spirit of a winter's night. When the sound of earth is muffled, and the caked snow is shuffled, From the plowboy's heavy shoon, when the night doth meet the noon, In a dark conspiracy, to banish even from her sky. Sit thee there, and send abroad, with a mind self overawed. Fancy high commission, send her, she has vassals to attend her. She will bring, in spite of frost, beauties that the earth hath lost. She will bring thee all together, all delights of summer weather, all the buds and bells of me, from dewy sward or thorny spray, all the heaped autumn's wealth, with a still mysterious stealth. She will mix these pleasures up, like three fit wines in a cup, and thou shalt quaff it, thou shalt hear distant harvest carols clear. Rustle of the reaped corn, sweet birds anthem in the morn, and in the same moment, hark, tis the early April lark. O'er the rooks with busy caw, foraging for sticks and straw, thou shalt at one glance behold the daisy and the marigold, white plumed lilies and, and the first, Hedge grown primrose that hath burst, shaded hyacinth alway, sapphire queen of the mid May, and every leaf and every flower, pearled with the self same shower, thou shalt see the field mouse peep, meager from its salad sleep, and the snake, o oh, winter thin, cast on sunny bank its skin, freckled nest eggs thou shalt see, hatching in the hawthorn tree. When the henbird's wing doth rest, quiet on her mossy nest. Then the hurry and alarm, when the beehive casts its swarm, acorns ripe down pattering, while the autumn breezes sing. O oh, sweet fancy, let her loose, everything is spoiled by use. Where's the cheek that doth not fade, too much gazed at? Where's the maid whose lip mature is ever new? Where's the eye, however blue, doth not weary? Where's the face one would meet in every place? Where's the voice, however soft, one would hear so very oft? At a touch sweet pleasure melteth like two bubbles when rain pelteth. But then winged fancy find thee a mistress to thy mind. Dulcet eyes that eyed as Ceres' daughter, ere the god of torment taught her. How to frown and how to chide. With a waist and with a side, white as Hebe's, when her zone slipped its golden clasp, and down fell her kirtle to her feet, while she held the goblet sweet. Then Jove grew languid, break the mesh of the fancy's silken leash, quickly break her prison string, and such joys as these shall bring. Let the winged fancy roam, pleasure never is at home.